Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how you can recover your data, get past your lock screen if you're having an issue on an Android device. And this software is custom tailored for your Android device. And I partnered with iMobi because they have some very unique software for Android to help you with this. Now, this is a Galaxy S8 Plus, but this works for Sony Xperia's, HTC, Google phones, such as the Pixel, Huawei, and Motorola, LG, things like those. And they custom tailor them to your device so that not only do you have accurate instructions, you have your data put back where it's supposed to be. That's what's unique about them. They can recover data back to the original spot that it was to begin with. So if you're not using backup services like Google Photo, you can get that back, you can get past your lock screen, things like that. So this software is called Phone Rescue. Now I showed it to you for iPhone some time ago, but this is for Android. And there's a free download and it's available for Windows or Mac and there's some paid software for it as well if you want to actually use its features. Let's go ahead and show you how it works. The first thing we need to do is turn on developer mode. And to do that, you need to go into the settings. Within the settings, you scroll down, go to about phone, and I already have it turned on, but go to about phone, go to the build number, and tap on it until you see developer mode has been turned on. Then you go back, go to your developer options, and you need to turn on USB debugging, which is down at the bottom on a Samsung device. So once that's on, we're good to go. And we just open the software on our Mac. You'll see Phone Rescue is open. So that's open. Let me get rid of the software in the background for now. And let's take a look at this software. So we're good to go. They suggest you turn it in airplane mode and do not disturb for the best results. We'll plug in our cable and give it just a moment here. And it usually takes a second and we'll say, get started, getting started. It tries to connect to the device. It connects and then launches on the phone itself. So you'll see your device connection completed. Phone rescue will save you at a maximum level. So let's go to the software and on the software, you'll see it says Samsung Galaxy S8. It's custom for this phone. So it understands that information. So what you can see here is we can recover all sorts of data. So we can first recover the type we want to actually bring back. So in this case, we're just going to select videos, uh, maybe app documents, and that's it for now. Then we'll hit next. Now it says your device hasn't been rooted. Now it can try and root it if it needs to do a deep scan, if you really can't find it. If you just want to do a quick scan, you can do that as well. But a quick scan will help you scan and kind of organize your items and find them. But if it's something you really can't find, you can do the deep scan. But we're going to do a quick scan for this point. And on our phone, we'll hit OK. And now it's going to scan the data. And it's already found 21 different videos and two different documents that it thinks it can recover. So we'll let this run and then we'll come back when it's done. Now it's completed and you have to allow it to scan these things. It doesn't just go in and scan them. You have to say, okay. And I've previously done that. And as you can see, it says it successfully scanned 20,400 items. Now on the computer, you can see there's different, different videos and app documents. We've got all sorts of different ones. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at them. So instead of recovering every single one of these, let me uncheck this. I'll check one. And then let's go to the documents and you can see within each folder, there's different things. So maybe I was trying to find something in MoneyWiz, or maybe even Allo. I had a conversation there. I wanted to recover it. I can do that. But for now, we'll just recover a video. So we'll go back to a video. We'll recover this one. Once we click the down button, you'll see that it's going to recover it. And it says recovering data. Don't disconnect it. So it's going to take a moment and it's going to put it back into videos on the phone itself. So we'll see if we can take a look at it. So we can either view the file or we can see it on the device itself. We'll view it here. Videos, let's see what we've got. And this is a waterfall in Greensboro, South Carolina that I actually took a video of. So that turned out pretty well. So it recovered that video. It is something I previously deleted and we can go back to start over and we can scan for different types of items if we want. Now we're back at the beginning and if we want to recover more things, we can. We have all these different options here to choose from. Now, like I said before, it will remove the lock screen. And as you can see here, it's got the lock screen removal. So if you want to remove the lock screen, 
you just click start unlock. So if you're having some issues, you can do that and try and recover your data from a phone that maybe is damaged or you lost a bunch of data on that sort of thing. So that's phone rescue. This one's for Samsung, but this is pretty inexpensive. You're trying to retrieve data. It's $50 for one computer, 70 for a family license. Most of the time you only need one, but if you have a business and you want to recover on a bunch of different devices, you can do that as well. It's pretty inexpensive for trying to recover files, especially if you've lost a bunch of photos and contacts, or maybe even conversations you may have had before. This is something that's very useful and a tool I'll keep on my computer in case I need it in the future. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below if you've used their products. I think they're pretty solid, but if you've got a better solution, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.